if you're new to oxygen not included or having trouble making a power grid, then today's video is for you. The basic concept of this design, which I like to call the heavy watt backbone, is to use heavy watt wire to connect all of your generators, batteries, and high sides of transformers together. Then, power consumers are hooked to the low sides of the transformers so that they can use smaller wires. The key component of this power grid is the smart batteries. By connecting automation wire from the smart battery to the generator, you can use the slider for the smart battery to shut your generator off when it isn't needed, which will save you an extreme amount of fuel. The low threshold is when the battery tells the generator to turn on, and the high threshold is when the battery tells the generator to turn off. These thresholds are based off of the percentage of charge in that specific smart battery and makes using a heavy watt backbone extremely powerful because all the smart batteries will be synced up and have the same battery percentage. This means that you can simply stockpile fuel for your generators and have them come on when needed. In the example you see here, the percentages listed are what I have the generator smart batteries set to, but you should use whatever percentage works best for your base. You can always hook a power consumer directly to your heavy watt backbone, but if you want to use a smaller wire without it breaking, you'll need to use a transformer. Connect the high side of the transformer to the heavy watt wire and the low side to your power consumers. The small transformer provides one kilowatt of power and is perfect for regular wire. For the conductive wire, you want to use a large transformer which provides up to 4 kilowatts or two small transformers with their low sides hooked together for a combined power of up to 2 kilowatts. Regular wire overloads at 1 kilowatt and conductive wire at 2 kilowatts, so be sure to keep an eye on how many power consumers you put on each wire. It is important to note that overload damage only occurs when the power demanded and the power supplied is over what the wire can handle, so you can connect a ton of things to a regular wire if no more than one kilowatt of power is demanded at the same time. If you'd like additional information on overloading, I'll leave a link in the description of a short video I've made on the subject. Okay, so now that we know the basics, let's talk about how this applies to your base and dispel a few common misconceptions too. For starters, the length of these wires can be however long you want. You can also control as many generators as you want with your smart battery, and I'd encourage you to do this as your base and power demands grow. Multiple of the same type of generator will allow you to consume more of your plentiful fuel faster and provide more power for your growing base. Heavy watt wire can't be run through walls, so you'll need to use a joint plate. Some more complex builds may opt to use the smaller wires to get outside of the build and then use a transformer to push the charge into the heavy watt backbone. Just be mindful of overload thresholds inside the builds. The small transformers have a 1 kilowatt onboard battery and the large transformers have a 4 kilowatt onboard battery. Wires touching each other are all on the same circuit. It doesn't matter how many times that wire branches out or what direction it comes out of a transformer. While a battery bank is unnecessary for normal fuel-fed generators, the heavy watt backbone is compatible with battery banks if you choose to use them for things like solar panels. Jumbo batteries have double the capacity of smart batteries, so hooking them to the heavy watt backbone will only utilize half of them, since all batteries on the heavy watt backbone charge and drain equally. Jumbo batteries also lose more power per cycle and make more heat than smart batteries. In order to sync a newly constructed battery's charge with all the other batteries on the heavy watt backbone, you'll need to charge the whole system up to 100%, including the new battery, or drain the whole system to 0%. If you have coal generators, they can't be refilled by receiving the red off automation signal, and they have an interesting set of conditions that must be met before they can even ask for more coal that should be kept in mind too. I'll also link to a video I have on this topic. There's two kinds of heavy watt wire. Regular heavy watt wire can handle up to 20 kilowatts and conductive heavy watt wire can handle up to 50 kilowatts. They also have a difference in decor, but both of them are still very ugly, which is the main criticism of this type of power grid. If your power consumption is larger than the heavy watt wires can handle, then you'll need two separate power grids or a more advanced power grid design. I'm currently working on a more advanced power grid design that can handle more power and also solves the decor issues, but that's a subject for an entirely different video.
If you like this video, please hit the like button and get subscribed. Leave a comment down below with other topics you'd like to see covered. And if you see me on Reddit, say hello.